Okay, I'm here. I definitely almost didn't forget that I was streaming tonight. <laughs> Sorry, I uh, shuffled some files around on my computer and fucked up all my OBS stuff. I'm gonna bring my uh, microphone down here so I can actually talk directly to you. What's up? Uh, where is... What are you doing today? <laughs> Sore. Oh no. Sorry, I got players not Bam. I don't understand why the music scroller is not working. The box is definitely there. Oh good, I'm glad it's nothing uh, serious. Probably just gonna have to let that go, even though it's gonna drive me nuts. I don't understand why it's not showing up. All my other tickers stayed the way they were. All right, I'm gonna. Hamster, what's up? Sire, what's up? Hey guys. Sorry, I'm uh, having some technical difficulties here, mostly with the fact that loud terraria. Oh my gosh, why? Um, mostly with the fact that my music scroll ticker won't work, like at all. Oh why? There it goes. Whatever, OBS. Whatever you want to do. Dude, it's fine. Okay, so, um, I am all kinds of confused and disoriented, like, right now, and I don't know why. Like, my anxiety level just went from, like, sort of there to, like, holy fucking shit, what is happening? Um, I have so much stuff I wanted to do tonight, and none of it is gonna get done, and I'm not even sure if I wanted to work on any of it. So, um, I was finishing Vasher's, uh, badges and trying to get the layout figured out for the next uh, Pokemon stream, which is going to be on Monday, and I have to do a style board for X-Ray's um, layout, and I also have to do the celebration for the 250 followers, and uh, sorry if I, uh, sorry if I'm like extra weird and anxious tonight, I'm like all kinds of lost right now. Uh, I'll show you the sub badges I need though. Um, so Vasher's got, um, as his sub badge emotes, uh, hopefully, or sub badge icons. 
Uh, hopefully these show up nicely. If they don't show up, um, I'll have to redo them, which is fine. Um, I'm a little concerned about the dark colors not showing up well. Um, I'm not sure. I'm worried about them showing up as icons in the chat because I'm afraid they're going to be dark, but fucking knows. My brain did go on a journey. Oh my. I, I've literally been awake since 7 o'clock. Like, I got up at 7 o'clock and I drove up to Clayton to get my back adjusted. And I feel a little bit better. Like, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. My lower back is like, what the fuck? Why? Um. Why did you do that? <laughs> uh, so that's going to need to be readjusted into the switch. Um, I'm actually okay with that. I'm happy to be going back to a chiropractor. And then I went and had uh, my car fixed. Quote unquote fixed. I had my oil changed and then something else got fucked up in the process of doing the oil change. And so that happened and it didn't cost me that much extra money. It just happened. It was like, um, and it was hot today and I tried to go catch Articuno and then I was like, damn, I didn't get anything done today. And I don't know what I want to work on tonight. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, travelers, what's up, guys? All right, let's be slightly on less tilt. Uh, let's do a thing. Um, so we hit our last follower goal, which was 250 followers. Now we are far past that, and I have put that off for too long. So let's do some doodles tonight, because I need some low stress, low think. So um, probably made something in the stream title referencing that, so it wasn't just like, hey, you can get fucking uh, sketches tonight. Good luck. Uh, let me change the stream title. Alright. Actually, you know what? This is a celebration for you. Okay! Who wants a thing? Who wants me to draw them a thing? And Vasher, yes, I did see your messages on Discord, I think. Um, I saw a couple of them. I was working on- actually, here, I'll show you guys what I did. Um, this is our new Soul Silver layout. Uh, I just finished it, like, now. Um, so, that's happening. Um, I have to uh, randomize the game now, but I forgot how many fucking badges are in that game, so it took me, like, 800 extra years to put that layout together, but it's okay. I figured it out. You like things? Good. Without question, hello. Oh yeah, Dakota, I did see that, um, that you wanted, uh, possibly extra emotes. Um, I will consider that in a couple of weeks when I am off my commission hiatus. Right now I'm not interested in taking more commissions. Um, so, I, but I will get back to you on that when I'm open for commissions again, because I'm definitely into drawing more emotes. Uh, I just kind of need a break from commissions for a little bit, because, um, work sucks, and... Not that this kind of work sucks, but also this work is still more work. So, um, seriously, uh, requests. Anybody got requests? Because otherwise I'm going to doodle up stuff for um, X-Ray. X-Ray wants a channel makeover, so I was going to do that. But I have to, um, you know, actually make the thing. I feel like I'm not using the right follower counter. How's everyone else's Saturday going? I hope you're less crazed than I am. Um, and then after this, we're gonna watch... Um, my suggestion was to watch a Pokemon movie, because I need to chill for a little bit. We just request our OCs or general requests. Anything you guys want. Uh, as long as it fits my terms of service, which is no complex machinery and no not safe for work. I will draw you guys literally anything, but it will not be, like, super high quality. Uh, I'm just putting that out there. But yeah, as long as you are following, um, I will do the thing. Or maybe not. I don't know how many- I don't know who of you- Oh, I impersonating Articuno. Articuno, I remember I was gonna do that. Um, let me remember what Dolly looks like. You guys will have to repeat your request more than once, so be prepared for that, because obviously I have... Okay. 
Yeah, it's just kind of like doodles, mostly. But yeah, you can have that. Alright, we'll start with the first one. Riarka suggested uh, this character, Dai, being an Articuno. So, that's what I'm gonna draw. I'll go from there. Um, you can go ahead and link the references in chat once I get to your commission. Um, I wouldn't do it right now because I'm probably going to forget to click the link, but... but... Yeah, when I'm ready to take your request. I mean, I, I guess if you want to link it now, I'll try to remember to open it. <laughs> A bat axolotl character sounds interesting. Actually have to actually have to draw a dolly first. Draw today, that would be great. And yeah, Ando, you can totally get a sketch of your uh or of your your new character. Cracking his beat there, and he's got scars on his face. Across his eyebrow. On his neck. <laughs> Sorry about that crazy fucking intro. I don't know what's going on with me today. I don't know what's going on with me this week. I feel like really off this. I don't know if it's the heat or what, but I have just felt like so out of it. I almost didn't want to stream tonight. And was like, no, you know what? That's probably good for me. Probably stream. That'd probably be good. I enjoyed it. Am I ready to draw? I am always ready to draw more sheebs. You always want me to draw sheebs, so I gotta be ready at a moment's notice. Already forgotten. Or yep, link now to be safe here. Let me grab them. Link. That's a cool character. Yeah, I'll totally draw them. I still gotta figure out what I want Epi to draw me because I'm all is well, my friends. All is well. I will survive. I will survive. I'm just a little extra crazy right now. A little extra crazy. up to this weekend. I was lucky and got to uh, actually go out and raid for Articunos today. When I really should have been home doing like literally anything else, but not the case. Not so. Decided I would go raid for Articunos and didn't get a single shiny. Speaking of Articuno, the irony of that. I don't know what a draw pile is, so no. I don't think so. Oh my god, and I also forgot we have to pick colors for these guys, because I never did that. Although I guess here I'm painting him looking like a, uh... Um... 
I guess right now I'm painting him looking like an Articuno. His colors are, but... Multiple artists drawing the same canvas at once. Oh god, that would not be relaxing. <laughs> I would get so anxious about taking up too much space, or not taking up enough space, or not knowing what to draw. That would actually make me so anxious. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing, actually. I don't know, maybe it would be interesting. Ink. My bird. I would still panic. Alright, I got both your characters up. Saw so Sheeb was requested. I will try not to spend too much time on these so I can get everybody's requests in. Maybe I will spend a lot of time on them. Who fucking knows? I don't fucking know. I just got here. <laughs> Honestly, I draw all day anyway. That more drawing would not relax me, I don't think. Like, I don't know. I draw for work, and then I draw for stream, and I feel like doing more drawing is not like a way to relax. Although I was trying to relax last night by, or not last night, uh, Thursday night by playing more Pokemon, but that, uh, as, as you may have noticed, did not, uh, go as planned. <laughs> so, um, you know, <laughs> I also have to go and upload all those files to YouTube. You're a confident, brave Minty. I, I got you. Confident Minty Sheeb, I got you. I can do it. When I get there. Look at how I was doing. This feels like I'm doing too much work. Every time I do sub sketch nights, or in this case, follower sketch nights, every time I do this, I forget how I did it the last time, and then it never turns out the same. <laughs> Which I guess is sort of the fun of it, but. Is it really hoping that I get a call next week from the urgent care that says that my blood test for thyroid hypothyroidism um positive? <laughs> that weird. Like I kinda hope there is something wrong with my thyroid because I feel so right now. <laughs> so like awkward. Like I don't know, fidgety? I No, this is supposed to be a positivity stream, but like I'm stressed out for some reason. Drawing's relaxing me a little bit, but like, I don't know, the last couple days I've been out. I don't know why. And I hope it's my thyroid being mad at me. You are currently sheepless, oh no. How did that occur? Sorry for tonight being vent night. You guys probably have like, zero things to say in response to anything. Just in one of those moods where I gotta fill the silence. <laughs> Articuno burb. the uh, sound volume, by the way? The music I adjusted a little bit in my panic to fix my OBS. So, uh, I hope that's still a good volume. I'm gonna have at least scrapped feet. Have wings. 
So he definitely just strapped Articuno's. <laughs> How did you end up without Sheebs, Kuro? Not only is this Axie Stack Sketch Night, but also this is Axie Stack Vent Night. So if you are freaking out as much as I am about something, you may share, and we will sympathize in your freaking out. Oh no, your poor sheebs. God, I hope they don't get infested. Bed bug infestations are like this. What happens if they if it is bed bugs? Like, can you get your can you get your plush um clean? I just want you guys to know that there's a reason that um though I don't have wings and this is <laughs> And I don't know why I felt the need to draw wings, but I did. So here we are. Are they the worst wings I've ever drawn? Probably not. They're here. Doing the most. Aw, oh, thanks, White Hamster. I'm glad you like it. It's Beg Mugs. My sister will help us pay to have them fumigate the apartment. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I, I hope it's not also, because that's, like, actually the worst. My sister had uh, fleas at her house. No, it was it fleas? No, it was lice. It was lice. Her apartment got lice one time, uh, which was fun. She had to like bag everything, and they had to throw out most of their like fabrics and stuff. It was just around everything. Having freaking about having to move in a month, but I have nothing saved up for the new down payment. Ugh. Yeah, adult life is annoying. <laughs> Being an adult. I've been a little stressed out about, like, financial stuff like that, too, question, just because, like, so I make a pretty decent amount of money, and I found out on Thursday that I do make, I do, in fact, make more money than the new hires, so that at least makes me feel better, but still, like, one of the new hires keeps being, like, you know, oh, we should all go out for drinks on Fridays and brainstorm, like, ideas for work, or, you know, we should do this, that, and the other thing, and I'm like, my guy, I don't have enough money. <laughs> I'm poor as shit, and I don't know- what I, But then it occurred to me, I don't actually know why I'm so poor. Because you guys give me money from Twitch, and you guys give me money for commissions, and I can't figure out where all my money's going. And I think it's just because I'm trying to save up money so that I have an actual savings, and so it's like I don't have any money, but... Like, hot fucking damn. Adulting? I know, right? Adulting is the worst. Because it's not like I'm struggling to get by. It's not like I'm poor and can't afford food or something, you know? Like, I I'm fairly well off and I'm comfortable. But, like, also... I'm gonna not shave these, I think. Adulting is saving up all your money and then getting sick once and bye-bye. Yep, pretty much. That's what's, Well, that's what's going to happen, is that I'm going to save up all this money, I'm going to have a pretty decent savings, and then I'm going to have to buy a new car. You know, like, I know that's going to happen. The second I have a savings, it's going to have to go to a new car. My car is in pretty good shape, but it is not going to survive a summer this hot if it's being this hot, you know? And my rent's too damn high. You know, that meme, that, that's it. That's just, my life is that meme right now. Thank you for letting me vent at you guys, by the way. Are you bugged? Oops. 
adjust adulting wrestles my beans. And I got transferred to a job in Texas, which is cool because it's an actual full-time job. But on the other hand, I have to move to Texas, and you will literally melt. Yep. List of reasons I don't ever want to go to Texas. That. Everybody's like, oh, Texas isn't that bad. You should go to Texas, because all the art jobs are in Texas. And I'm like, have you ever been to Texas? Why would you ever want to go to Texas? Like, voluntarily just be like, hey, I'm going to go to Texas. Okay, later. No thanks. Like, it's like Florida to me. I just, no, please. Never going to Florida. I would literally die within a, a week because of this. Definitely forgot the rest of the <laughs> Pokemon Go Community Day tomorrow, so that's like a thing. There are art jobs in Texas. I thought it was just like cattle ranches. <laughs> no, apparently. Um. Oh, where is it? I want to say Houston because everything's. In apparently, down in Texas, though, there are like a heck of a lot of. There are a heck of a lot of art jobs down that way, but like. Everything's on fire in Texas. I would know because I live here. There you go. I prefer dry heat to humid heat because humid heat, you step outside and you just immediately sweating, and I hate that. I hate the feeling of stepping outside and just immediately not being able to like. Move. But I've been to California when it's pretty hot out and it's so nice, because at least when it's ninety-eight degrees, it doesn't feel like. Out of pick, that was a poor decision. I apologize for your eyeballs. Let me just uh, select modify. I'm used to grabbing that color um, to do sketches with because it's really easy to reach. But I forgot about eyes and the fact that they need to be. <laughs> yeah. Well, like here in St. Louis, it gets really humid. Like the it's just it's humid all the fuck time here. But it's like when it's a hundred something degrees out, it's so hard to breathe because of how humid it is. And I kind of don't like it that much. I also just wish I could open my doors. It's been like 100 degrees for me. That's probably why I'm still feeling so awkward and just awful. I probably have been in a heat stroke or something. <laughs> like, I'm likely gonna die from the sun. I did increase my water intake when it started to get hot, though. That was the first thing the people at the urgent care asked me. They were like, well, have you increased your water intake, your fluid intake, since, um... Did I tell you guys about that, actually? Um, so I went to the urgent care on... Or no. I forgot to tell my family about it, mostly because it happened, and then I went home. So I did forget to tell my family that I went to the urgent care. It wasn't, like, because I was dying or anything. Like, it's actually not even remotely the reason you would go to an urgent care. I just went there because I literally don't have a family doctor out here. Like, I don't have a regular doctor. So it was like, well, guess I'll go to urgent care. So I went to urgent care, and I was like, uh, hey, I'm really fatigued. And I kind of just, like, th that day I was feeling the way I'm feeling right now. Where my head feels really foggy, and I can't stop talking, and I feel fidgety, and just... I just don't feel right, you know? I just feel off. So I went to I went to them, and I was like, hey, help. And they were like, okay, uh, come back, lay down. So she checked my thyroid, because that was my... That was another thing I figured since I was there, I'd get them to check that, because I'm concerned about it. So she checked my thyroid and was like, it doesn't feel swollen, but we'll do blood work and, and get that checked. Um, and then she was like, I want I want to give you an IV drip. And um, she gave me like a steroid for my neck because my neck was bothering me. So she like, but I had to stay at the urgent care for like an hour and a half, or for not an hour, a half hour, like a little over a half hour to get my like, to get like a saline IV drip. And it was really weird. Like, I don't know why she wanted that. Maybe she thought I was dehydrated. I didn't feel any better after I got out of that. Um, none of that, none of that solved anything. And I just felt worse, if I'm honest. Omega, I'm, uh, I am not streaming tomorrow, no. Uh, I do not stream on Sunday. Uh, I, I stream on Sundays only if I feel like it, and I will probably not stream tomorrow. I'm feeling kind of awkward. Um, if, if, I, if I'm honest, I'm feeling a little off. Uh, so I will probably go to bed early tomorrow. So uh, I will not be streaming tomorrow, but I will be streaming Monday for sure. 
Uh, I gotta randomize the new ROM file for uh, Storm. I keep saying Storm Silver, but it's Soul Silver. I'm playing regular, uh, regular Soul Silver, just because I don't. I don't need another hard. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'll stream on Monday though. We'll um. But anyways, yeah. So. Yeah, well, I didn't think I was dehydrated because I drink a lot of water at work. Like every like hour, I get up and I get like a like a cup, like a whole cup. Um, I don't know what size. I think it's like twelve ounces. I think it was. Like, a, but I get I drink like an entire thing of water every like hour. So I didn't think I was dehydrated. Maybe I was dehydrated. I don't know. But she gave me the saline IV drip and the steroid for my neck, and none of it made me feel better. I just went home and like ate pizza and went to bed. Like, I barely even hung out with my dad on, on Discord. I just went to Hey, Alter! What's going on, Jace? Um, yeah, so that's the story of things I did uh, on Friday. <laughs> that's a thing that happened that I did. Be something mental like heavy stress anxiety uh it certainly could be she was concerned about the fact the the doctor at the urgent care was um was concerned because i have uh anxiety for for sure uh but she was also concerned because i was outside driving around it was 160 out because we had to go to a photo shoot and uh for work and do some other stuff so um i i drove around with one of the girls from work pretty much all day but i was drinking water so I didn't think I was that, like, hydrated. Uh, it certainly could be heavy stress, though. I would not. I certainly wouldn't be surprised if it's that. All right, that's uh, there he is. Dolly is Articuno. That's how you spell Saturday, guys. Don't ever forget that. That's how you spell Saturday. All right, let's scoodle doodle her or him up here. Someday I'll know what his actual colors are. But right now he is an Arcuno. Uh, fun fact for you: Jadoa do not come in this color. Jadoa cannot be blue. All right, so now we got uh, Axolotl. That. So yeah, that's uh that's a thing that happened to me. Apple is a good sheep, yes, I will do our sheep tonight as well. Did you get to keep that one at least, or, or all your sheep? Uh, bagged. All. Probably help if I actually like first and about like details. That would help. Portmanteau of battle of bat -lottle. All of them are begs. Unfortunately, Apple arrived like less than a week before my mom's gave his diagnosis. Oh, that sucks. Playing PS4 with my dad and I just finished, so I came to bed and then this. There you go. So Charmander, what's up? What's going on? Let me learn how to draw tonight. I 
got a hundred a shiny 100 percent articuno as my only shiny out of 14 raids lucky you very good i just realized that your bat character has a, a mouth tail that's pretty cool Did I do it right the first time? It didn't feel right, so. Uh, you'll see that a lot the more you hang out here. If I don't feel like it's right, then I just throw it away. <laughs> Start over and we do it again and again and again until I get it right. <laughs> or until I'm happy with it. I love your character's flow. It's beautiful and I'm so happy. I'm proud of you. I'm very happy for you. I wish I had gotten at least a shiny. It didn't have to be 100%. I just wish I had gotten a shiny, but that's okay. Did Jay get a shiny? That's awesome. I have the notifications for stub toe turned off, so unless you um, ping me specifically on something, I probably didn't see it. Uh, just because I get so many notifications from this disc from the Axie Stack Discord that I can't have my phone exploding all day, so um, unfortunately I do turn stub toe off. She got two shiny Roselias. I do have two shiny Roselias. I wish I could find somebody to trade me um, the, the regional Pokemon that I'm never gonna like actually get to go get myself. I was happy I got the two shiny Roselias, actually. Now I have one to keep and one to... You know, whenever. Whenever it becomes time to evolve them. I actually just wish that you could trade long distance. Like, I, I, I see, like, I understand why you wouldn't be able to um, trade with somebody you just met. But I feel like if, um, if you're, like, best friends with somebody, like, if you have the maximum friendship with a person, I feel like you should be able to, um, I feel like you should be able to, uh, to trade with them even over a long distance. I don't know. It just... Anyone know the names for the guaranteed evolution typing? Uh, it's... Um... As soon as I see it, I'm gonna report it, but... Rainer, Sparky, Pyro, Sakura, and Tamo. Uh, Tamo? Tamo? But it only works once, so make sure you have an Eevee that you want to evolve. Otherwise, um, it's random between Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon, or... Uh, if you level up the Umbreon and uh, level up the Eevee during the day or night, if it has, like, the 10,000 steps with the Eevee on it. Isn't the trading what they're adding in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, is it? I know, they just, they just added, um, they just added trading to Pokemon Go, but you have to be, like, local. To oh, no, you know what? Uh, question, it's, uh, I don't think you can trade the Pokemon back from Let's Go. I think it's if you trade a Pokemon from your Pokemon Go to Let's Go, then that's it. It's gone. There, are, I think they're all references to the anime, aren't they? Maybe I'm wrong. And yeah, you're right. For sure, Rainer, Sparky, and Pyro are all references to the anime, because there's that one, that one family where they all have an Eevee. Wow, Megan. 
You have a lot of shiny legendaries. I've been trying to get a shiny um, Rowlet in uh, Sun and Moon, but I just haven't had a chance to play my game the last couple of days. I'm up to 100 encounters with a... Uh, I'm up to 100 encounters with the um, the Magikarp method, so... Haven't seen one yet, but at some point I might. Walked my perfect EV for an Espeon, yay! This is a super duper secret mon they haven't announced yet, where they were traded from Let's Go... Uh, yeah, let's go po to Pokemon Go. Oh, really? This is uh, sub art, but I, so I didn't put it in the title, and maybe I should have. Um, we hit 250 followers a little while ago, and um, I wanted to do like sketches for you guys um, as kind of a thank you, because you know we wouldn't be here without you guys. So um, since we hit the follower goal. Um, I'm doing sketches for anybody. You don't have to be a sub to do to have a sketch done. Uh, and then next, whenever the next time we do this is, I will go back to the the regular way of uh, you know just subs. But for this for this one time only, non subs can also acquire uh, acquire sketch. Kind of a thank you to you guys for getting me to where I am. I had a shiny me, but I gave it away for trash, and now I feel bad. Well, hopefully you can find more, right? Of course, these are turning out to be less sketches and more actual drawings, though. I didn't really mean to go so hard with the last one, and now I have to... Committed to this level of detail tonight. I know I don't care much for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, but there's shiny, increased shiny odds on all wormhole legendaries. Interesting. I I honestly haven't even touched Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Still sitting on my shelf, unopened. Not that I don't care for it, it's just I wasn't like I bought it just to have it in case I was interested in playing it, but I haven't really had any interest. I too much other stuff to do to play a game that's basically just the same game as the last game. Oh my god, without question's character is so cute. Without question, it's adorable. Shiny Charmander Smooch and a Houndour, I will put it on the list. Probably forget about it, but I'll put it on my mental list and forget about it. I know I offered this and Arena said they'd take me up on it, but uh, I also have to clear out like the bajillion boxes of uh, rufflets that I have. So if anybody wants a mostly perfect rufflet in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, let me know. And uh, you can have one because I literally have like 20 boxes full of them. They have their hidden ability and, and all that. So if you want one, you are more than welcome to snag one and I will eventually get around to treat you guys for it. <laughs> Care if you care about Braviary at all. I'll have to put my friend code up on the, uh, my friend code for the actual Pokemon games up on, uh, Discord so that you guys can add me if you want to do that. They should have almost perfect or mostly perfect IVs. I can double check them for you if there's a specific one you're looking for, but um, I got them pretty close to perfect 
Um, I'm not that good at reading, but... I have a ghost type friend safari, I'm pretty sure. Correctly. I don't remember what's in it though. It came out a lot smaller than today. I feel like I have drip in it. No. I'll pop all these, as usual, I'll pop all these up in the, uh, the Discord when I'm done with them. So if you want to use them for uh, icons or whatever, you know. I'm not going to shade them, though. Um, we'll see. I just mostly don't feel like it, so I'm not going to. Coloring's like my favorite part, so. That's the part I want to do, and then stop. I know my Stack Saturday sketch subs, ha uh, sub sketches have been of varying degrees of quality over, over the weeks I've been doing this, so. You know, I apologize if a previous week had a slightly higher quality than the others. I just sometimes sometimes I'm in the mood to draw a whole bunch and sometimes I'm not in the mood to draw at all and that affects heavily how much uh, effort I put in as, you know, maximum effort. Any tips for helping me draw a lion but only the face because I know you because I know how to do other work. Um, is there a specific part of the face that you're struggling with? My advice is to always draw from a photo. Like, draw, I mean, if you can draw from an ape. Obviously, you're not going to be able to walk outside and find an eye in the skin. Um, is to draw from a photo and try to, like, trace over it and figure out where stuff is and, and kind of learn how the face structure is on one of them. Um, give me a minute to finish coloring this. I'll run through that real quick. And then I'll go back and do the rest of the sketches for tonight. Um, I'll do this till 10.30 since I started a half hour late. And then we'll go watch a uh, Pokemon movie. I don't know which one. Yeah, probably the first one. Where's the second one? The second one has to be in it. I, I, I mean, like, if you have a way to print it out or whatever. Oh, did you? Did you, Charmander? At some point, we gotta get back to doing uh, our Pokédex, too. Kinda slowed down on that a little bit. Like, I was really inspired to do the two I did, and then I stopped. Just because work happened and I could that stuff, but... I really want to see what you guys come up with. Have I seen the Hoopa movie? No. Um, I think I've seen part of it. The suggestion from the Substack, when, and for, by the Substack I mean from Kuro, was to start with the first movie and just watch all 15 of them or whatever. Um, not Obviously not tonight, but like over the next couple of weeks of Stack Saturdays, uh, Stack Saturday movie nights, because I haven't really wanted to do games lately, so that was sort of the tentative plan was to maybe watch all the Pokemon movies. What's your opinion on store level fireworks? Like the ones people can buy and set off in their backyards because lately people have been kind of like why loud noises around me. Um, I get 
why they would be available. I don't necessarily mind it. However, like like on a on a purely okay, so on a on a purely um, theoretical level, I don't care. People should be able to buy whatever they want and do whatever they want. And if they like, I don't know, it fine. Uh, but in a realistic sense, a lot of people just blow themselves up with them and it does cause kind of a neighborhood disturbance and it goes on for far too long. It's actually not legal in um, St. Louis. Uh, you can't actually set off fireworks in St. Louis and the only time people do is on 4th of July because the cops don't give a shit for some reason and so people just light fireworks in the streets and are like, whatever. I don't know. The Hoopa movie's on Netflix, if I remember correctly, and watch that then. Certainly easier than me trying to dig around on the internet looking for something. I don't know. That's up to you guys. What? I mean, do you guys have a preference of which movie we watch? I didn't really get a chance to ask the subs. And for the most part, the subs have generally agreed with the regular followers. You get time? Could you do Underfell Sands hugging a big mustard bottle? What is an Underfell? Teach me this new word. What is an Underfell? that up. I don't know what that is. seen a real axolotl? Yes. And he frequently bites my Because I own one. I definitely thought I was th this was a song from Spyro for a second. Yeah. They're out there and all over the place, or... That's, it. That's my son. Alright, there you go. Done. Secretary Birds. Problem is that now that I love, now that I draw Jadoa, uh, secretary birds all look like. Secretary birds are great. Not sheep yet. Sheep next. Sheep is for next.
Oh, I was gonna do a lion. I've never never seen one in my life, so this is the first time seeing it, and it's so adorable. Yeah, no, axolotls are great. Let's talk about secondary birds. Secondary birds are also adorable. Both are, are quite adorable. How many of you guys have anthropos? It's red and orange. Okay, you got it. I was gonna ask what color you wanted his outfit to be. They have hair, or is it just that their skin is soft? They're kind of, um, yeah, no, they're soft. Um, I wouldn't say that they're like a fish. They're more like a frog. Um, they're kind of like silky. And just kind of, for lack of a better term. Uh, and they don't have any teeth to speak of. I think they do have teeth, but they're so small and soft that it doesn't really matter. Um, so I get bitten a lot, and it doesn't really hurt. I mostly get bitten a lot because Steve doesn't realize that I'm not food. He's just not smart enough to understand that I am the, I am the bringer of food. I am not the actual food, so he's something. He gets really excited. Do any of you know anything about keeping worms, by the way? Because uh, my worm farm keeps dying, and it's kind of a problem. Squishies. Give the worms potatoes? Forest animal animals or they water animals. Um, originally, axolotls are from uh, Mexico. They lived in the two lakes around Mexico City, and one of those lakes is now Mexico City. Um, they are only from Mexico, and they are critically endangered in the wild. But they are very much fine in captivity. They make good pets. Uh, they're studied for uh, their ability to regenerate their legs. They can regenerate pretty much any of their limbs. And so they're studied for that, so they're pretty well taken care of in captivity. But unfortunately, in the wild, they are critically endangered. But they're salamanders. Salamander, like mostly water animals, also need land. No, actually, they do not. Axolotls do not need to be able to go on land. Axolotls are actually 100. They're they're 100 percent uh, aquatic. Unlike regular salamanders, which um, do, do require both land and water, axolotls are 100% aquatic. Nope, 
axolotls never go on the land. I think if you see them ever sitting on a spot of land, it's totally underwater and you just can't tell because the water's so clear because they definitely don't ever go on land. In fact, if your axolotl goes on land, it means that your water quality is so bad that your axolotl wants to escape. That's why they're, yeah, fully aquatic salamanders, and that's why their gills don't grow inward. Yeah, so axolotls are what's called neotenic, and um, they, the way they look now with their gills sticking outward is actually what a regular baby salamander looks like. And then when salamanders are ready to come uh, partially, uh, when they when, when they when they're ready to become amphibious, when they're ready to metamorphosize into that stage, they their gills grow inside their body, and then they don't have the flappy gills on the outside anymore. But uh, with axolotls, uh, they're neotenic, so they never go through that metamorphosis process. So they always have their gills out, and they just become big salamanders. But yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's humans for you ruining things. I should color this in. Wrong colors that I just grabbed. Axolotls actually look really funny when you take water because they're able to press against the body. It's real tight and it's kind of cute. But like on the pictures of my axolotl, you'll see him sitting on top of like pieces of rock and stuff. He's under the water. He's totally under the water. I think they're pretty cool. Do they make noises and stuff? No, um, I've actually never heard mine make any kind of sounds other than like popping the surface of the water. Sometimes he'll swim up to the top of the water and just like take a gulp of air from the top. Um, I think he does it for fun because my water quality is pretty good. But sometimes he just does it and then we'll float around the tank with a belly full of air and it's really but he, um, he'll swim to the top of the water and just, like, snap at the surface of the here make But I've never heard him make any kind of, like, a, you know, any kind of noise. I actually don't even know if they have ears. I don't... They certainly don't have eyelids. Not blink. Forever stares into the void. <laughs> There's something about them. It's so hard to describe it to other people. There's just something about looking at an axolotl that's, like, the most beautiful. <laughs> like, you see them in the pictures, and they're super cute and adorable, but then, like, if you see one in real life, like, something about them. <laughs> most. I gotta get him. Worms, because he ran out of worms again. Worms like potatoes, though, huh? I'm gonna try bringing the box inside and putting it in the kitchen, maybe. Um, I, uh, I bought a big, like, 10-gallon Tupperware container. Or not Tupperware container, like, storage container. Like, a big plastic storage container and drilled some holes in the top of it filled it with dirt and I put the worms in it and I've just been like throwing food into it like a compost and it stays on my porch where it's kind of shady but um, the worms keep dying so maybe I need to like bring it in when it gets like hot out I don't know I mean it's hot all the time I don't really understand how people keep compost Because, like, you can't bring a compost pile inside. So how do you keep the worms alive when it's, like, 8 million degrees out? Unfortunately, they're endangered, which happens. Like I said, they're very, very common in captivity. 
they're very well taken care of in captivity. They're actually pretty easy to get a hold of as pets. Although California is dumb and is like, no, you can't have actual. I think I have a couple good videos in that uh, folder, too. He is quite... quite the character. I don't know why I did this. Oh, right. Is this correct? Ando? Is the red the primary color? Alright, Sheeb is next. And not imagine I can imagine not having endangered animals as pets. Yeah, it's sort of interesting. I think it's mostly just because of the whole I mean they're bred pretty commonly for research purposes, so it's like I wouldn't keep like oh, there's other things. Oh, is that the one of him stuck in the log? I think it is. I think the one you're looking at is the one of him stuck in the log. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the one of him stuck in his log. So Steve has this log decoration in his tank. Right? And it's like this, um... It's like this big piece of driftwood that's like this shape. And it's got like a big hole here and here. And there's a little one in the back and the top. And there's like one right here. So like I stuffed a plant in this one. And I think I stuffed a plant in this one. But I didn't have anything to fill these two holes with. So I just left them alone. And he somehow got up inside this hole. And so his head is like back here. And his body was like curled up like this. And he somehow got himself like inside. I mean he's... <laughs> but he got himself like stuck inside because it's hollow on the inside so he got himself stuck in there I don't know how he even got in but I, I got home from work one day and I couldn't find him and I thought that was really odd because he is literally like a foot from nose to tail and I was like how did I lose a one foot long salamander um, inside this fish tank and I had to I was like looking around in the tank for him and I couldn't find him couldn't find him couldn't find him and I finally looked down through the top of the tank to see if he was like hiding behind a decoration and I couldn't see him and, um, he, he was down, like, um, he was just in there, like, looking up at me, like, I'm sorry, I've had time to explain my, di I've, I've had time to think about my life and my choices, and, um, yeah, can you help me? <laughs> like, he just was, like, looking at me, like, help. Uh, Kuro, can you send me a picture of, uh, do you have any... Do you have any pics of your mint sheep apple? Cause I'm looking for one and I can't find one. Thanks. <sighs> Coming to see this channel. My cousins and Castle has a channel in the three million subs and followers. Yeah. Oh, I hope someday we get to that many. Well, maybe not that many, but I'll, I hope someday we come large. Your mom holding him. Oh, look at them. So beautiful.
in your sheaves. Gotta love the sheep. Luckily, your sheeps are not that hard to draw. <laughs> Face of determination. Do Charmander's next, and then I'll do. But I actually didn't forget Charmander's. I'm remembering it now. Usually, after like two of these, I start to forget the other ones. Like I can only remember like two at a time. Okay, maybe you guys can explain something to me, because Cass and I were talking about this. I don't really understand it. So, um... So, um... Sorry, I lost my train. Um, so what's the point of buying, follow uh, buying followers? This channel got like invaded by bots and um she has like like a thousand followers now but they're all bots and like what's the point of that she didn't buy them somebody else she thinks bought them for her but she doesn't like what's the point of that why would you want to have like a thousand sub a uh, thousand followers but none of them are actual people <laughs> This Pokemon and E I'm in I'm here, I'm Brazil. I love Pokemon. Uh this is one of Kuro's stuffed sheep. Kuro really likes sheep. And so uh, occasionally asks for artwork of them. They have a whole bunch of uh plush plush a little family. I was watching Ninja stream today and he literally got a zero kill victory royale first try with Dr. Lupo. I don't know what that means, but it sounds exciting. Also, hi, uh, Kale God. I just realized you were not Omega. What's going on? Uh, this is not, well, it's sort of Pokemon. Um, I'm doing sketches for the chat and, uh, I'm gonna... Uh, and so these are some of the requests from tonight, although I'm working a little slower than usual, so... I didn't get as many in. Uh, you're welcome to suggest we're following. You are welcome to suggest. I saw you got the uh, malevolent spirit. That's awesome. Get yourself in a recommended from other channels and increase your flow for similar channel channels. So like if you have more subs, or, like so if you have more, not subs, uh, more followers, are you more likely to get like, sh like to show up as a recommended channel? that how that works Neymar okay um, I don't know what that is but look it up I have two I have two sketches ahead of you that's gonna be doing this till 9 30 you guys so how are you doing tonight uh kale how's how's your day been having a good saturday or whatever day whatever time it is in brazil right now i don't know what time zone you're in but i hope you're having a good one well thanks for the follow welcome to the stream officially well, come up on my phone 
I have my phone off silent because I keep getting called by this insurance company asking me if I want to sign up for insurance, but they won't tell me what the name of the company is. And if you call them back, it's obviously a scam because the phone doesn't pick up. And um, I've been waiting for the call to come in to talk to somebody. You know, can you not call me three times a day? Thanks. The Brazilian player of football. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I'm per good at people. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you're sad. Well, come hang out, have a good time, maybe be a little bit less sad before the stream. There you are, Sheep. Hero. Sheep. All right, let's do Charmanders. Oh, I was also gonna do a. Here, let me draw a lion for uh, Omega real quick. So. Um. So the first thing I would do about draw when like, I'm drawing anything is to um break down animal's face. It's actually a lot easier to do with a. So like. The primary shapes on this lion's face is the head. Head. I won't color. And then he's also got this nice oval shape for his mouth. So he's kind of got a shape. Also helps to draw the face. So he's got like this nice oval shape. But then I start looking. Then I start looking for other shapes. So there's like a trapezoid shape, middle of his head. You know. So he's got like this shape right here, and his nose is kind of. In middle of that Oops. so um the way i the best way i've ever found to draw animals and really anything is to break it down into its most basic shapes um and then you can start filling in you know the details so come in here It also helps to do, like, multiple layers of sketch, so, like, main, ears, then you can go in and do, like, a little bit closer details sometimes, so you can adjust the outside of his nose, want to draw, and I tend to, like, not draw certain shapes. There's a lot of good tutorials in, like, DeviantArt that really, like, go in-depth breaking down, like, animals' faces and drawing them. I would really uh, recommend looking some of those up. Because I don't draw big cats that often. It really helps to break down whatever it is you're, that you're drawing into, like, many shapes and try to find, like... Bones, the fluff right here. It probably was too fast and it probably didn't make any sense. <laughs> I like to think I'm good at cheating. Definitely. Yeah, uh, MTX, I got three people in front of you, though. <laughs> uh, so I'll see if I get to you. I hope that I do. If you want to go ahead and make a request, uh, feel free. Also, hi. How's it going? And uh, that's basically the gist of how I would draw a lion's face. <laughs> and I'm sorry if that didn't make any sense, but there you go. Uh, is there blue axolotls? Because blue is your favorite color. There are not blue axolotls. Axolotls come in black. They come in, uh... Uh, they come in black, yellow, white, pink, and, like, brown. Um, better... Which I could probably give. Um, like, if you have a way to print out a picture, uh, you could do the same thing I just did. You could 
print it out, maybe put a piece of paper on top of it. You know, same thing as I'm doing right here, but do it with actual paper. And then you can come in and draw, you know, okay, the lion's head, this shape, there's his little blocky nose. They're out the way. Here, and this is here. Eyes. You know, just draw draw over it. Um and uh yeah. Try to figure out where stuff is. That's what I would say. Do mapping for a community project at the moment. I've been lurking for a half an hour. Oh, sweet. Are these requests or commissions? They are. Oh, it's okay. I didn't really make it that clear. Um, we hit our 250 follower goal a couple weeks ago, and then I went on vacation, so I didn't get time to actually do anything for it. So we're sort of celebrating that by me doing just sketches from the chat. Um, I usually do this kind of... Um, um, Sorry, I, I usually do these kind of streams like once a month just for the subscribers, but uh, this time around I decided to do it um, for everybody because of the whole, oh, the whole. So yeah, um, actually, yeah. This is a really cool tutorial, and I will post this. Um, if you guys need it, but uh, what this this is a cool tutorial because it goes through how to draw a shrimp, and you can read all this stuff later. But ba they're basically like draw a shrimp or whatever animal it is you're trying to draw. So in this case, a lion. Draw one without looking at any photo reference. Just draw it, and just get the sense of what you think that animal looks like. And then you go online and you just grab a whole bunch of pictures of them and you trace them a little bit at a time. So then you start tracing the shrimp and you see he's got these little bumpies on his head, horns, and he's got a little eye here. And and you trace over all of your art, you trace over all these photos that you got and try to figure out like how many segments are in their body. Uh, and then you grab that photo and you don't trace over it and you try to draw just from the photo. And then you go back one more time and without any photo reference, draw your animal, and you should have a slightly more detailed version because you've gone through and looked at all your photo reference and traced over it and figured out, oh, okay, this isn't just one big shape. This is actually broken up into little pieces. And oh, he's got little fins under here. And you start to like notice things you didn't notice before if you uh, trace over photo reference. So, Lions are one of your favorite animals. Animals are great. Can I get a white dragon from this? Sure. Um, oh, yeah, I know this guy. All right, we got, uh, let's see. Let me do, uh, Charmander's real quick. So Charmander wanted a Charmander. <laughs> Pokemon. So that would be my advice, would be to look at some photo references of lions and kind of like, you know, if, if you can print them out, print them out and just kind of, um, kind of learn what a lion looks like and, and teach yourself the different shapes and stuff. And, and using tutorials on like DeviantArt is fine too. You know, if you want to look up a tutorial and see what other people have broken them down to, but I, I really would recommend doing like learning for yourself as well. Probably. Hound Tower, right? I don't even know if, uh, I don't know if I'm trying to but. The unfortunate thing about art is that sometimes you spend a lot of time uh, doing things that aren't very much fun, like drawing from life.
Oh, on the lips. Oh, you want on the lips. I can do it. That is slightly less easy. From, I think drawing from life is fun, but I know some other people don't find it as fun, and I get that. Hey, Ron, what's up? Ah, uh, it's going. I'm all right. I feel a little bit calmer now that I've been streaming, but like 10 minutes ago, or at the beginning of the stream, you should have seen I was on like full tilt. I was just panicking about everything. Pretty good. Oh, MG, they're actually smooshing. They are smooshing. May I request something if it's okay? Yeah, of course. Um, I've got... I've got... Um... Charmander I'm doing now. Um... Case... Underfell... Um, and then... Who else requested something? Hail. Kale, what did you ask for? Repeat yourself. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. And, um, who asked for MTX? Asked for MTX. Asked for. I'm gonna just keep a list. To see them from chill because your Pokemon projects have been lift uplifting me. I got brain buzz. Yes, I saw your uh, I saw your list. I didn't get to like look through it super close, but uh, I'm gonna look at it after the stream, probably maybe while we're watching our movie. Um, I've just kind of been busy the last couple of days, so I have a lot of stuff to do. I was gonna work on Pokemon stuff tonight, and then I remembered that I have never actually got around to doing this. So. Yeah, you can request an OC. We've already had an OC tonight, actually. So if you'd like to request, go for it. Write you down. Uh, I'll do a cutoff at some point, because um, I'll have to stop to do the movie or whatever, but... Well, I mean, you said you're pretty young, too, and I'm not pretty young, and I've gone to school for all this stuff, and this, this is what I'm trained in doing, so you'll get there. You've got a long, you know, you've got plenty of time to get to this level. And even then, I'm still, I'm still learning things, you know? I, I still don't know everything. There's some stuff I still can't draw at all. Oh, 
Oh, of course, Ron. Hey, your project is super cool, and I got inspired by you, so there's a lot of, a lot of inspiration to go around. After the other quest, could you do my Newt Sona covering her face and blushing? Sure. I'll put it on the list. If I don't get to it, I'll work on it while we're watching the movie or something. I want to do this for everybody. But I don't want to go too crazy with it, just because, like... I gotta, like... Um, since I'm only doing a headshot, I could probably handle it. Do you want the Hound Hour to be shiny, too? I know you said you wanted the Charmander to be shiny. Oh my god, it's FC Nun. FC Nun is bringing the friends. What's up, dude? So much for the... For the raid. No, that one should not be shiny. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep list. I'm wondering if I, could, if I I'm wondering if I could switch to Flower Fell Sands and a, and a Flower Crown? Sure. You're fine. I, if it, if a lot of it's not safe for work, I would just ask that you pick a reference for me and just make one. Figured with Undertale, there is a lot of uh, that. What's up, guys? For the raid, welcome. We're doing chat sketches, although I don't know if I'm going to have time to get to you guys. But uh, we're I'm doing sketches for the chat. Drawing whatever everybody wants in the chat. I mean, don't feel too bad. It's been like six years. Somebody too, so good. Not the end of the world. How was your stream, FC? Very neat bathroom. Okay, see you later. Hey, Penny, have you been on the Pixelmon server recently? No, I have not. Um, I don't usually go on unless I know you guys are playing, to be honest. And I haven't really been conscious the last couple days. I've been kind of out of it, so. Why? What, what has occurred on the Pixelmon server? Done. Oh, you're building me the Church of Quagsire? Oh, I'm so ready. Maybe I'll hop on tonight, check it out, and see what you guys are up to. Have to. I also have to figure out how to breed quagsires, which means I have to find quagsires of the same size. Pixelmon is great, you guys. All right, I think I might, um, Briar, if you could either PM me or link a picture of your Newt OC, I think I'm going to do the cutoff now, um, just because I think I'm going to run out of time. I don't want to stay up too late. Night then, but um, I, think I might cut it off there. You guys are all on right now. Okay. We're gonna watch uh, a Pokemon movie. I don't know which one yet. Uh, did we decide? Do you guys want to watch the Hoopa movie, or do you want to watch something else? Do you have a preference? I like the second one, but we can watch whatever. I'll throw in a movie, and I'll work on these, and we'll out and to do an art share. But I can PM you. Okay, sweet. There you go. Poker man's kissing. Doing that smooch. Whoop. 
All right. I don't know what a flower fell is. So it's just sands with a flower crown? Is that what is that what it is? Just sands with a flower crown? Because I can handle that. Do we have 26 viewers? I feel like that's like the most viewers we've had for a while in a while. Well, you guys are all welcome. Oh, I totally didn't introduce myself. Jesus. Uh, if any of you guys are new and haven't been here with FC before, uh, my name is uh, Katie or Axie or most, uh, Artsy. People kind of call me whatever they want. Um, but uh, I do art and sometimes I get anxious and I'm here doing my best. So that's what we do here. Here we do our best. Always do your best. Edgy red sands with a flower crown and pointy teeth. Was oh, he not supposed to have pointy teeth? Totally forget. Let's see. I love the way the people the people skeletons actually. Oh, Ando, thank you so much for the sub. Oh, that's so exciting. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for friend Ando? Oh, thank you so much. Hopefully, sometime this month we're gonna get our um, our sub emotes. That's not one of the references that I have up on my screen right now, so we'll Barf his, like, signature thing here. Yeah, get some love in the chat for Ando. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. I'm on the Discord. You got it, friend. Yeah, okay. So I think I'm going to finish the list of uh, requests I have here, and then we'll go watch them. I've got uh, four more after this. Hopefully it won't get too late for you guys. Hearts are fine too. Any love. All the love. Pokemon the first movie. One vote for the first movie. The first movie's good and campy. You have to get your computer fixed, that's something. See, he has a gold tooth.
He has one gold tooth. Pretty clear, like the colors are crispy. Yeah, what's up, Omega? Always ask me a question whether or not I see it in chat. Altogether, keep getting lost. You are more than welcome to ask me a question. Sub thing, when you sub, do you like be subbed forever? No, you can cancel it anytime. It, uh, I think you can go in your sub, like, settings and, uh, change whether or not you want it to be recurring forever or whether or not you want to choose to do it. Uh, I believe that's how it works. Uh, but you can look in your subscription settings and that stuff. I never expect subs. Um, I'm always flattered when you guys do it. I understand that money is, is tight sometimes, so if you're not feeling it, that's... I never expect it. Regular viewers are important. Too. You're all important to me. They're a monthly payment, but I don't think they have to be, like, permanently permanently recurring. I think you can go in and tell it, like, hey, I want to choose when I do the thing. Drinking water is also important. Yeah. There you go, friend. All right. You guys get to experience me experience me trying to draw a person. You guys ready for this craziness? It has been a long time since I drew a human face. <laughs> down and you start putting the details in and you make it not look terrifying. <laughs>
know too much about uh, football. I don't know too much about sports in general. But hopefully I can... Uh, he seems... seems like he's a very pleasant person, at least. He has a very nice smile, you know? He's got one of those really, like, big, kind of expressive smiles. Sorry, I haven't really been watching the uh, chat that much. My bad. <laughs> Probably do. Oh, there's some Portuguese going on in the chat. I don't know anything that English, but really cool that you guys are multilingual. I wish I were multilingual. <laughs> wish that I could understand other languages. Very, very bad with other languages, though. I've tried. I'm just not that good at it. Is your main language Spanish? I wish that I wish that more schools in America taught um, like other languages, like Spanish from an early age. Because if I had learned Spanish when I was younger, I probably wouldn't be ha having as much trouble learning other languages. Now. I just think other languages are so cool. Wish that I knew them better. Hey, okay, so drawing a person, I didn't struggle as much as I thought I was going to struggle. That's fun. Sorry, I keep zoning out a little bit. <laughs> Starting to get a little bit of a headache from sitting at this end. But I should probably get up and stretch. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Probably do it at some point. I like using English more. I recently learned that I'm just bad at Spanish. Despite living here five years, I'm now working on Japanese and American Sign Language. I'm picking up on them, no problem. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not like necessarily bad like i can read spanish pretty well like if you give me enough time to like stare at a sentence i can usually figure out what it's supposed to be saying but i just can't 
quite... I don't know. I, I can't quite learn it to be able to speak it. Uh, Kelsey God, if uh, you are not in the Discord, I would highly uh, encourage you and anybody else who's hanging out and it's not in the Discord to uh, join the Discord. Uh, I'm going to be posting all of these images when I'm done. I'm going to be posting them in the Discord and the ArtShare channel. So if you requested something, uh, that's where you'll want to pick it up at. Um, I may or may not at some point post it on social media. But honestly, I'm bad at social media at the moment. So, you know, um, just can't keep up with it for some reason. I think I got it pretty close. I think uh, for having not traced him, I did a pretty good job. I'm proud of myself. I'm gonna draw a human. This human that I drew. Did a real human thing. Or you are more than welcome to also just screenshot it off the screen. Uh, the video quality is good enough for that. And I've had a couple people do that as well. Got their drawings. But uh, since these aren't like official commissions, I won't like save them out for each person individually, sort of thing. You know? If these were actual commissions, i take the time after the stream to uh, export. They're all kind of on one. Okay, we got a little community going on. We chat about stuff pretty much daily and generally having a good time. So if you want somewhere to hang out that's just chill and, and nice and everybody's kind of welcoming, friendly, just be a good little hangout. Here. Love to have you. Or if you're not feeling that, that's cool too. You don't gotta like it. You can get it at you don't gotta have a Discord, that's cool. The neck tattoo is Tudo Pasa. Okay, that's good to know because I can't read it. Gonna have to go look for it. Not good at field coloring. Anytime I have to draw humans, I have to draw them in like for some reason. Probably because it doesn't make. I can't even blame him. That just does not make a good toy design. But still, like. right over it. Just gonna have to do the hair again. Well, you don't always pick off the photo picker, guys. You gotta adjust as you go, or else you end up redoing your work. I mostly just use the photo picker to get myself started. I was not 
<laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna do more YouTube vids, but I got other stuff to do at home. Yeah. Speaking of YouTube videos, I gotta... I have to update all the videos on the YouTube channel. Keep forgetting to uh, update the problem. I archive all my stuff. It disappears, then it disappears forever. Alright, there you go. Done. Another one. Another one in the bag. MTX, what you got? That white dragon. You just want me to draw the, the white one? Oh, don't forget to stretch, guys. Always stretch. That one was small compared to the other ones. Boom. Forgot to say, you have verified your account on the first try, and just it just did not realize until the day after that Tricks of It was live. Oh, okay, so you got it. You got that squared away. That's good. Glad to hear you got that sorted out. You asked if I could draw both of them. Oh, okay. Yep, you got it. I remember you you called out the, uh, the the white one specifically, so or at least I thought you called out the white one specifically. That's why I asked if you. But I can. being bothered straight afterwards. I don't remember you saying anything that would have been bothersome. You're fine. I'm, uh, I'm a little distracted tonight, if I'm honest. I, uh, in the beginning of the stream, I was just kind of, kind of loopy. I don't know. I've I've been feeling a little weird this this week. Um, two two creatures on this sheet that are surprised by infection.
Maybe something a little easier that doesn't involve so much face squishing. <laughs> uh, anybody can post pics in the Discord. There's a uh, category called Art Share where anybody can put their artwork. I'm not gonna lie. I know I have four more of these or three more of these, but I'm getting a little tired. Um Feel bad not doing these for you guys. You were here hanging out. Just I'm getting a little tired. Oh, you meant like photographs, like pictures of yourself, like selfies? Uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to do that too if you're comfortable. I sometimes post pictures of myself, mostly because my cat's adorable. Right now it depends on if your phone decides to work. Ah, oh, man, aquatic. Yeah, I, I get you, Briar. Neck is stretched. I'm ready. A bit less. I have no idea what you guys are saying, so I hope that's not directed at me, because I don't understand. Sorry that I don't understand. Um... Okay. Um... I'm tapping out a little bit, you guys. My head's starting to hurt. I don't have anything interesting to say. Uh, I'm starting to get anxious again, so I think I'm gonna stop. Um, maybe I'll finish the rest of this list another time, like tomorrow or something, and just put it all up on the Discord. Uh, I, I just, I'm not... I'm not feeling it right now. Um, but I will hang on to these references and maybe get to them another time. I just ran out of time tonight. Um... I'm gonna uh, go get the rabbit link so we can watch a movie because I kind of just need to chill and watch a movie. Um, uh, no, I have not played Stardew Valley. 
But uh, we liked the music from it, so we put it on the playlist. It does have good music. All right, you guys, I'm gonna paste a link in the chat here. Uh, it's for our rabbit room. Oh, no. We're just gonna watch the first Pokemon movie and we'll just work down the list the next couple weeks unless you guys get tired of Pokemon. So we're gonna go watch, um... Hey, we're gonna go watch a movie. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. Sorry I uh, got a little, I don't know, out of it towards the end. Um, I think I'm also not gonna try to raid anybody tonight. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Um, but, oh jeez, don't, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'll see you guys over on Rabbit if you want to watch Pokemon with us. We're just going to watch the first movie. Um, but thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Uh, again, sorry for getting weird and tired at the end. Uh, I will try to finish up these last couple of requests since you guys were so nice and asked about them. Uh, I wish I had a little more time that my head didn't hurt so much. But uh, you guys are super cool. Thank you so much. And I will see... And thank you for the sub, also. Endo MVP. So, uh, thank you. Um, so I'll see you guys on Monday for Pokemon. So, um, yeah. Have a good one, guys. Bye.